you clicked on this video, you probably have a toilet that won't stop running and it's driving you crazy. Stick around, I'll show you how to stop it permanently for under 20 bucks. Hey guys, it's Rob with another Hammered Halo DIY and today we're changing out the guts inside our toilet tank. There's only a couple reasons why your toilet continues to run. One, the flapper valve is not seating properly. This can happen as the rubber degrades over time. Or two, the float valve is faulty and is allowing water over the overflow pipe. For this toilet, I'll be changing both the flapper and the fill valve. Now, we could probably just get away with replacing the flapper, but we have one of those old ball float systems and it's time for an upgrade anyways. The newer style fill valves like this one have the float built right into the design, so no more ball on a stick. All you're going to need for this project is a pair of channel lock pliers, a sponge, or some rags, and either a new flapper valve, a new fill valve, or in our case, both. These parts are really inexpensive. The flapper valve runs around 5 bucks, and the new fill valve is about 15 so all in, right around 20 bucks. First thing you want to do is turn off the water supply to the tank. Next, remove the tank lid and flush the water out of the tank. Make sure to hold the flush lever down until most of the water in the tank is removed. Next, to get the remaining water out of the tank, I'm just going to use a sponge or the rags to soak up the rest. From there, we can go ahead and remove the water supply line from under the tank. You may get a little water dripping out at this point, not to worry, won't be much. Next, use your pliers to loosen the fill valve nut and twist it off. Now the fill valve can be removed from the tank. At this point, you'll have easy access to the flapper valve as well, so you might as well go ahead and remove that. These are so simple to remove. First, undo the chain on the lever flush arm, and then remove the flapper by twisting the rubber on each side of the valve. To install the new flapper valve, simply repeat the same process in reverse. Now setting the flapper chain to the proper height may take you several attempts. If you set it too tight, it won't seal properly. And if you set it too loose, it won't flush completely. It's trial and error, so just play around with it until you get it right. Okay, now we can install the fill valve. First, set the height by twisting the lower valve stem based on the height of your tank. This particular valve is adjustable from 9 to 14 inches. Ideally, you want to set the top of the fill valve 3 inches above the top of the overflow pipe. Next, take the water tube that comes in the kit and push it onto the nipple of the fill valve. Take the other end and push it onto the refill clip that's also included in your kit. Now you can go ahead and insert the fill valve into the tank and refill tube onto the top of the overflow pipe. A couple things to mention here. One, make sure the tube doesn't interfere with the flush lever. And two, if your refill tube is too long, you can take a pair of scissors to cut it to the proper length. Now we'll go ahead and tighten the fill valve nut under the tank by hand. Give it a few quarter turns with your pliers. You just don't want to over tighten this nut. Go ahead and install the water supply and slowly turn the water back on and check for leaks under the tank. If you have a small leak, give it a tighten with your pliers. That should finish it up. Now before putting the lid back on and calling it a day, you're going to want to set the water level. Most toilet tanks have a water level line marked on the inside of the tank. And to adjust your level, simply turn the adjustment screw on the new fill valve clockwise to increase the water or counterclockwise to decrease it. With the water level set, you're all set. Put the tank lid back on, pat yourself on the back. Thanks for watching guys. I hope this video helped you out. If you haven't subscribed and you like DIY projects like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hopefully we'll see you on the next one.